everyone welcome to the fifth video of cypress automation crash course in Cordis camp so so far we have covered how to install and set up cypress and how to run your first test and how to integrate it with your ide so today it is going to be a very quick video on the terminal run comments we can use in visual studio code let's get started so here is a visual studio code don't worry about this clumsy coding screen where we are going to concentrate on this in our next video so all we are going to concentrate on today's video is this terminal. So if you were watching the previous videos, you must be familiar with few Cypress comments already. So the first basic comments we did was checking the version of the Cypress to check whether the Cypress is installed correctly or not. So to do that, npx Cypress version would give you the actual version number of Cypress you have installed in your machine which also helps us to check whether our Cypress is installed correctly in our machine or not. So yes, it took some time, but it got displayed. So now here I'm using NPX because my Cypress version is greater than 5. So now if you are downloading it recently, your version must be higher than 5.0, then only this NPX will support. So again, my next command we always used in our previous videos was NPX Cypress open which helps to open the test runner of Cypress. So here is our Cypress test runner and we have explored the UI of test runner in our previous video. So if you see the command prompt, it will not allow you to type in any more comments till this test runner is open because we can perform other operations like executing, stop the execution, etc. using this test runner itself. So we don't have the access to type in any new comment until we close it. So today in this video, we are going to cover a few specific comments that are needed further for us to execute our tests in this Visual Studio code using this terminal command. So let me close this so that I get the access in terminal to type in a new command. So now we are going to see a few important comments. So the first command we are going to see is Cypress. NPX Cypress run. So this command is used to execute your test. So which test it will execute because we have so much inside our examples folder and three new tests in our first test folder. So now as the Cypress knows all your code live under this integration folder. So once I give npx Cypress run, it is going to run all the tests under this example folder. So now I'm going to click enter. You will see the step tests under examples folder starts running. So now yes it started running and first it shows the basic information that is the cypress version it is using and in which browser it is running and the next specs what is mean by specs here is your javascript test files somebody prefers saying it's specs and some say it is test files i prefer test files because i have used to it when i use selenium so now it shows all the folder files under this examples folder these 23 tests are going to be executed here and now it is running my first JavaScript file that is actionspec.js and it is showing the number as well, one of 23. So yes, if you can now see in the terminal, it has executed every test inside this integration folder. So now you can see the details of each test. So now let's take a test here, the test view report spec.js under this example folder. If you see, it has displayed how many tests are there in this JavaScript file, how many passed, failed, and finally the specification path and the duration it took to execute that test has been displayed in the part of result. Also the important thing to be noted here is under video section. So the complete execution has been recorded as an MP4 format and compressed and saved in the path given. So here the path given is under example videos viewport specification. So if you see there is one folder created in the integration folder. So if you go under that you can see examples and first test folder under examples video has been created for every JavaScript file we have created in MP4 format. Also, your screenshots will be saved when your test failed. So if you see under 
miscellaneous spec.js screenshot only is available and under first test only end to end javascript is available because those two tests are failed other tests are passed so screenshots will be created for the failed test cases alone so yes i have cleared my terminal and we have used npx cypress run to execute all the test files under integration folder so we don't want to run all the tests every time for example if i want to run only this test that is test.javascript under first test folder how do we do it so again we are going to use the same command npx cypress run and we have to specify which test we want to execute to do that hyphen hyphen spec in double quotes we have to specify the folder path so here it is under cypress integration first test so if i specify only this path all my three tests under first test will be executed so i have to be specific about the test file name as well so here test.javascript is my file name so i'm going to hit enter so yes you can see the test.javascript has been executed is running actually and you can see again the same information about the cypress version and electron 89 headless browser and the path where our test is so now the test is running and see it is showing one of one which means this is the only test it is executing so yes this test has been executed so yes you can see it is finally executed with all the details of the test that is the whether the test is passed and the duration again the video in mp4 format and here it says all specs are passed which means whatever function or method we had inside test.java has been completely passed and now after overall information it has given after executing the test the thing to be noted here is it is headless means you did not see any browser opening and showing us what is happening in the part of ui but it has executed this test headless which means without ui in command prompt itself so this function npx cypress run will always execute a test headless so running this command with specifying the path or giving it hyphen hyphen headless will work in the same way that is execute your test without ui so this will be helpful when running your tests in ci cd format that is if you are configuring your tests with jenkins in that case this command will be helpful to execute your tests without ui so still you can get the screenshots and videos that won't be a problem but we won't always recommend this because we always wanted to see the changes happening and the navigation is happening in the ui so how to do that how to run our tests in that format to do that i'm again going to run the same test spec cypress test.js and i'm going to give the command hyphen hyphen headed so this will help us to open and see the operations or navigations happening in ui so let's see whether this test is executing in chrome or not So yes once we hit enter the browser is opened and our tests are executing yes our test executed and the browser also closed successfully and then the report has been displayed so now header command helps us to see what is happening in the ui and it has opened our chrome browser and our text is executed we could clearly see that so now defaultly when we gave headed it has opened our chrome browser what if we want to run things in a different browser so before that we need to know what are the browsers supported by cypress so i'm going to give cypress info of npx cypress info so this command will help us to know about the information about cypress and what are the browsers supported in cypress so you can see after the command npx cypress info has been executed it is showing detected three browsers installed defaultly that is chrome edge and firefox 
so you can use any of this to run your tests and also the versions has been displayed and the path has been displayed so here they have given example command as well that is cypress run hyphen hyphen browser after that you can give whatever browser you need so de by default our browser has been opened is chrome so let us try edge now so i'm going to run the same test again so i'm going to give npx cypress run hyphen hyphen spec and the path of the test i want to execute so i'm not going to give headed instead i'm going to give hyphen hyphen browser space edge so let's see now so yes our test started executing so yes now you can see our edge browser has been opened that is here is our edge So I have given the test to launch my blog site and that's it. The test has to be done. So yes, test has been executed and the browser has been closed automatically. So yes, this test also executed in our Edge browser. So, so far we have seen some important comments to run specific test file and to execute in different browsers. So this will be useful for us when we connect our uh, tests and project with CI CD pipeline. So, and we are going to use this comments frequently in our videos once we started executing our test. So, now if you ask me what are the other comments, we are not going to cover that in our this video, but you can see the other comments and try it yourself. So, to get to know what are the other comments available, there is a comment for, that is npx cypress run hyphen hyphen help. So here once I type the help command, it has shown all possible run commands that you can use to execute in terminal. That is in here we have used hyphen hyphen browser, headed, headless, and yeah, and help and few. So you can read the description of that particular command. For example, if we want to know what is no exit, it keep the browser open after test finish. We have seen the browser has been closed once the test is executed. By using this command, you can stop the browser being closed after the test is finished. The so same way you can read the description and try it yourself. Also, I have given few important comments that we have executed today in this video in my blog site and I have given the link in description. Also, if you go to cypress.io, So here there is a section under guides which is command line if you go down you can see all possible commands you can try in a terminal so here are the other comments and extra comments we did not cover in this video so you can check this page for more and more comments and read it and try it yourself so i hope this video is informative and we have today tried few important comments that we are going to use frequently in upcoming videos so thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in other video. So if you like the video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you. Happy testing.